morning. This is Nita and Miss Panda and Kitty Blaze and the chickens are around here somewhere. And we're gonna play my favorite game today. Let's beat the rain. So, not a cloud in the sky, a little hazy, but not a cloud in the sky. Little gentle breeze. Little gentle breeze, you know. Yeah, we're supposed to have thunderstorms and maybe some hell and you know. Weatherman says it'll be here about three. I never believe him. It could be here as early as noon. It could be here as late as 10 o'clock tonight. He doesn't know. So, playing Beat the Storm. Um, yeah, I'm going to start out. I'm going to go put the salt in the water softener. And then I want to go ahead and clean the my waterers. Um, see the nice little ring there? Pollen. It's an issue. So I need to clean all the waterers for all the animals. And, um... Yeah, then I'm going to work on something else and just kind of, you know, one thing at a time. Don't prep with two or three tasks worth of tools. That way, should it start to overcast and get rainy or get stormy, I can um, I can put stuff away. Um, I will continue to watch my shade cover for the Jeep. Um, in the winds that happened the two days ago, whatever, um, it actually popped. This has got the, the, the latch here on the top. Um, I will tell you they're cheaply made because it popped this one off. Pop that one off and it's okay. I have my wires in around the pole now instead of around the canvas tarp. Um, and it made it through the rest. I expect some issues because my wind comes up the hill this way. So, you know, I expect this side to be my side that I, I learn on. Um, I will tell you, though, in the last two days, having a little bit of shade cover, the Jeep stays cooler. When I need to go somewhere at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it is so much more cool than it typically is because it's it's in the shade. You know, again, this is my southern-facing sky. All right. I'm not rambling. Kitty's like, get to work, Mom. So, I'm going to go get to work. And we will talk to you later. Garden two. This is where we're gonna start. Again, mornings in one of the established gardens, afternoon and cleaning that garden. Um, that way I get stuff done. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna try and do the corners. Um, got my, my roll fabric here. I'm gonna cut a square piece and then cut it in half diagonally, which should let me finish a diagonal here and a diagonal there at each corner. And that way I can, um, you know, put my drawstrings on, which will tighten this up just a little on both sides. So it's not bending over, touching the ground, making it go poppy. Um, well, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use the string trimmer and trim all this, all this stuff down, kind of all the way around it. I've already turned the fence off, but that's the goal. Um, and if the you can hear them, get the okay. Let's get one out. Heavy duty hooks. They work really well. They tend to go really deep. Um, which should support this because again, I'm not trying to pull it so tight that it'll break the wires, but tight enough that it doesn't, it doesn't sag and then run around on the ground and, um, um, ground out. So it's tight enough to be top, but not tight enough that if I panda bumps it or a rabbit bumps that it, it's going to rip or break or snap a wire. So, and I'm trying to use the hooks this year. The last, what, three years that I've been here, four years on property, I've used T-posts and, um, I think that's overkill. Does that make sense? And I have better uses for the T-post. Now, if it doesn't work, if this doesn't work, I have four garden poles that'll let me go longer, you know, without it actually having to be a T-post. Those will fit in the holes that these create. Um, and we'll just kind of, we'll work it from there. We'll see. All right, talk to you in a few. All righty. Corners are in, the hooks are in, not the T-post. Um, now this is just a cooking twine. Um, use it to like wrap a roast or wrap a turkey when you're going to put it in the oven to bake so it doesn't expand out. Um, it'll work for right now because again, this is to make sure that everything is in the right place. Um, so you can tell where the, the fencing is now taut. It's not tight. I can still, I can still move it. There's still plenty of give room, but it's not not laying on the ground now which is a good thing truly um so what's next what's next is to take some of my reclaimed wood 
that recent stack that I have um, and literally put it along the edge all the way down and across. I'm going to do this corner first because you can see where like that's fraying because I've hit it with the lawnmower. So being that I've moved all the fencing now in the right place, all of this extra stuff I'm going to burn off, but I'm going to put the wood there first so I can um, not, not burn the new fabric. Anyway, I'll show you in a second. I'm putting the wood there. Um, Living Traditions, you know, give credit where credit is due. Their homestead, they, they use the same fabric I do, roughly the same way. Um, and they did this, but they use treated wood, I won't lie. I'm using stuff that, you know, I got for free. I'm cheap that way. Can't help it. Um, but I'm going to drill a couple holes in it. They're eight foot long, so I'll drill like three holes and I'll tack it into place with like some cheap tent tacks because I've already got the fabric itself tacked into place. And what that'll do is that'll give me a clean edge so when I don't mow over my plastic and cause it to fray and I don't weed eat it and cause it to fray. Because um, the weed eater will hit that piece of wood. So I think that's going to work. I'll show it in a second. I have no idea what she has. She's chewing on something. What you got, Panda? What you got? Can Mama see? Oh, you got one of your bones. Okay. You're such a good girl. She was making sure. You aren't going to take it from me, Mom? Never. Never. You said you're a good girl. All right, we'll talk to you in a minute. I love it when a plan comes together. That's what I want to do. Now you can see where all this stuff here, this is the stuff that I need to go ahead and burn off. Does that make sense? Uh, the big piece I'm going to do now, the little piece I will probably wait till I finish that side. Um, corner, going down that way. and Because this is newer. Makes sense, and I knew I wanted to do this. It's folded in, and I just got some wood pieces sticking on it. Now, you're only going to see the corner done today because there's only um, tent spikes. They're extra ones that I had from like the pop-ups where I don't use the uh, I don't use the smaller ones. I use the longer ones for the for my uh, for my pop-ups. So that makes sense, just because with the wind we have, it'll hold the pop-up down. Um, to include I have the larger spikes around the, the run because it holds it down when I have the higher winds. Um, I don't think I need them here. I don't think I need something that big here. I should be able to get the cheaper, you know, extra tent spikes and stuff at Walmart. Um, three to a board. So, but that, it's awesome. You know, you're mowing, you know where not to mow. And you come out with the edger, you, I won't be screwing up the plastic anymore because it'll it'll edge trim towards the wood. Anyway, I think it's a great idea. Again, Living Traditions, they had a much larger piece, like a 4-inch, four 4x4 four four or something, I don't know. I'm looking at reclaimed wood right now because for me it's free. We'll see how that works. You know, maybe I need to go too high, I don't know. We'll start with one high. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and, and put my T-posts away. Put some tools away, not all of them, but the ones that I was using for the boards. Put them away. Clouds have started to move in, but we're nowhere near rain yet. So, clean that up. I'm going to go ahead and blow off the, uh... yes, Nita, blow out the garden. Because I was, you can see where it leaves and stuff from where the logs have been on here. Um, and where I had the bricks in the corner, I had leaves and stuff building up. So, I'm going to, yes, my chickens have laid an egg. Um, anyway, blow that off. Um, harvest some asparagus because I need to um, and just kind of breeze through and look at the strawberries I've got plenty of blooms and there you go see there's some green strawberries I don't have any bread yet that I can tell I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through and do a quick search and then I'll turn the power back on and this will just be done for a while um, at least until I get more more hooks and get the rest of the nails out of the wood if it starts raining at noon, I'll work on nails. If it doesn't rain at noon, I gotta work on that garden. Good lord. Yeah, one lays an egg and everybody cheers her on. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you later. All the tools put away. Got a 
mason jar with some water in it full of asparagus for dinner tonight. Yum. Yeah. It's all cleaned off. What went and gave the um, chickens an oatmeal snack. Getting ready to go do lunch for me. Because it's time. Um, and then I will judge the weather. You know what I'm going to do next after lunch. Um, the uh, could be as simple as I'm going to go work on the hill, or I'm going to go hang out in the um, in the workshop and remove nails. It just depends. Now the weather guys changed it and said I'm not going to get rain at three. I'm not going to get rain till six, which is typically what happens. They back, back it up and back it up, but depending upon how high the humidity gets, it could just start off. So we'll see. I don't know if you've seen it. There were two male hummingbirds fighting over the, uh, fighting over the, uh, the feeder. The, uh, I think one is the, the older male who's always here every year, and one is a younger male, maybe one of his sons, who knows the feeder's here. Um, they also know that this is the place. Uh, all little girls who want to come here and get a drink or... Get with the glads, or get with the glads, or get with the echinacea. Does that make sense? Or the the roses, or the the woolly lambs there. This is all his territory. So fun times. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all after lunch.